Hey everybody, it's Mr. Allen again. It's time for another model building workshop. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be talking about reference material, books, magazines, etc. And uh, we're going to be talking about the Persian Gulf War, the first, well actually both wars against Iraq, one from 1991 and the other in 2003. So this is a recent, uh, yeah, from February 2021, from Fine Scale Model Magazine here in the U.S. This is talking about Desert Storm, which has hit its 30th anniversary, which is just mind-blowing to me. Um, yeah, I guess I'm getting old. It just doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Um, but yeah, 30 years ago, 1991. Wow. Anyway, so, and this magazine was devoted to, not, not just that, but mostly devoted to that topic and some of the models that you could do. I'll give you a quick run through. This is a great model building magazine. It tends to give you a run through of what's new being built, what's new, you know, models that are out there, and a lot of helpful hints. Yeah, 30th anniversary. Talks about you know like the fighter jets that were used. And some of the armor, like this one, which is a Chinese armored personnel carrier that was in use with Iraq. Anyway, interesting magazine, but yeah, 30 years. So we're gonna look at some of the source materials that are out there. Uh, I may have shown you this one before. This is called Sword in the Sand. This is the U.S. Marines in the Persian Gulf War. And a lot of these books are from Concord Publications. I don't think they're around anymore, but they were making lots of really great books like this, you know, photo studies of uh, military subjects. So there's this one, which has lots of good you know, color illustrations and color photographs and photojournalists taken during the during the battle Oops. you know there's you know, this one after the storm or Iraqi wrecks and fortifications again conquered a lot of this is in black and white with some color spreads of some you know damaged and abandoned vehicles This one, which I talked about before, you know, visit to the zoo, kind of a tongue-in-cheek title of uh, a menagerie of Iraqi vehicles that were captured. Like I said, this is has uh, a lot of really good information on markings for those of us who'd like to do model building. You know, it does show you. There's some armored cars here. You get a good idea of the, like the license plates and how some of that stuff was set up. How the Iraqis painted different things. You know, some of the unit markings are there that you can look at. So despite this being black and white, this is a fairly inexpensive and really good guide to um, Iraqi markings and, and vehicles. There was this one. Also from Concord, Blitzkrieg in the Gulf. What's interesting with this one, it's got multi-colored uh, sections here, so it tends to go through different nations. So it's the United States, back in the Desert uh, Shield part during the buildup before the war. So you have a lot of photos like of the Marines and other units getting together and getting this stuff together. Like, you know, even more motorcycles and other gear that was used. Some of these even before they got painted into the desert colors as they're just arriving back in 1990. And like I said, this is broken down into different sections so that then there's a section here on the British so you get a, 
a spread here on British armor and what they were using. So that's that's here too. With their Challenger tanks. And then it goes on to the French. French Army was also involved in the 1991 Gulf War. Some of their armored vehicles are there too. And moving on. This is the Arab coalition section. These are allied Arab forces like Saudi Arabia. Sorry, try not to get you dizzy. I'm trying to cover a lot in a short time here. Yeah, more from Saudi Arabian tanks. And okay, I'll show you this. These are Egyptian vehicles that were involved, and the Egyptian vehicle markings are oops. They are here on the Tamiya Gulf War. Gulf operations decal sheet so you could do the Egyptian versions and then of course there's a section on you know, Iraqi vehicles here as well so that's Blitzkrieg in the Gulf all of these came out in the early 90s just after the war you know another one here Desert War, Ground War, Desert Storm. Uh, again, oh, this is Squadron Signal Publications, slightly different company. Uh, and then you can see some of the photos there. Really good shot of an Iraqi tank here with its unit markings, you know, American tanks there. So this has got a lot of great stuff, some of which is in the other books, but still. Quite a lot in that one. And then Osprey tends to have a series of things too. This is Armies of the Gulf War. This has a depiction of different the armored vehicles are in here. Breakdown of equipment. Description of the different armies. All right, can we get into Britain here? Arab coalition forces, and then you get into all right, uniforms of the combatants. Is the Iraqis are here and Kuwaitis. Britain, France, and the United States. So you get the idea of what this book is. And then we have a wide variety of other things I'll just kind of show you. So this is getting into the 2000, and I won't go there yet. <laughs> Try to keep this in some kind of order here. And then there was a lot of these books that were for sale shortly afterwards because America was in such a... Uh, Oh, the victory, it seemed like it did a lot for American morale because the military had suffered in Vietnam. So in 1991, having a victory, it just seemed like a big deal. Everybody was all excited. And, you know, anyhow, uh, I won't get into all of that. But so there's these books that came out. And this kind of gives you an overview of the political situation. You know, you get all the the political angle here with the different leaders. And different things that they talk about here. You know, all about the 
president at the time, George H.W. Bush. You know. Anyway, so that's that one. Then other countries also got involved in doing different publications. So this is, a look at the Gulf War. This is a Japanese magazine that I found. Which has some interesting photographs. From that period. Some of the Iraqi vehicles. And of course, this gets into other stuff and it talks about Japanese armor. As well, and other and other stuff from the time period. Uh, it gets into World War II stuff and German tractors and whatnot. So, anyway, I'm not completely even sure what the name of this magazine Oh, just Tank Magazine. And this is from 1991. So, that's a Saudi Arabian. No, sorry, it's a Carolina flag on the tank. <laughs> sorry, I just saw the palm tree. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do a quick look through some other things here. And then there were these other, you know, this was a library book at one time, you know, Weapons of Desert Storm. I just did a quick uh, guide to you know, what was going on at the time. So there was this type of thing that, that was out there. Then we have more Concord publications here, 100 Days, 100 Hours. Gulf War again. Another photo study by different photographers that were in the field at the time. You know, so it has more. Gives you some examples of different vehicles and so forth that were there. Including helicopters and other stuff. So that one. This one has a color section here somewhere too. Yeah. So there's some things in there. And it does give you a list on the back of other books that they put out on the topic. Quite a few there are at the time. And these might you know, be able to come up with on either Amazon or eBay today. Just going to walk through some other ones. Desert Shield, which was the lead up to Desert Storm. This was basically the idea of getting troops over to Saudi Arabia to protect Saudi Arabia in case the Iraqis decided to move forward. And in this one, the. <laughs> Showing you model kits, some dragon models that pertain to troops at the time, if you wanted to build them at the time. So and that kind of gives you the build up of troops. But that one is. I know there's a lot of stuff. I guess I picked a lot of this stuff up over the over the years. All right, we'll hold off on that one in a moment. We'll get to that in just a second. Because right, then we start getting into the 2003 war. Let me just stick with the first Gulf War first. Operation Desert Saber. So this is about the British. And that's again a Concord publication book. There's an Iraqi tank on the back. And that has some good pictures of the Iraqi tanks. And this is just all about the British forces. And they're fighting during the Gulf War. And then some of the Iraqi vehicles they encountered and captured were there too. Another version of that. <laughs> I always have two of those, but anyway. Um, 
Then we had this one that came out of the Desert Shield fact book. This is a kind of a breakdown of what was there. And this may have come out. I'm not sure. No, this is from 1991. I guess this is just to try to help people try to understand what was going on. Then there were more books like this one. So there's quite a bit that came out in 1991. And I guess that kind of goes with victory, I suppose. And some of the euphoria, I guess, that came out of winning. And here's your book. Breakdown of different aircraft involved that's to go through uh, unfortunately different aspects of that conflict day by day there we go here and then we have this one operation day Degay, Degway, Deget, I don't know. My French is not great, but this is the French Air Force and its operations. Again, a Concord publication book. Let's get some color photos here. That gives you a breakdown of the French Air Force, what they were using and their, their role in that conflict. It was if you if you look at the price tags i mean a lot of these i got from discount stores like three or four dollars because it was like a big thing where everybody wanted these and then suddenly it <laughs> ended up in the bargain bin shortly thereafter but so you know, another breakdown of different types of things That one. And I think that takes us to, yeah. And then we get to the 2003 war, which, well, actually went on a lot longer, but we thought that it was all done and over with in 2003. Therefore, all of these books came out similar to the 1991 Gulf War celebrating the victory. But then it turned into, wait a minute, this war is going to drag on. And anyhow, I'll leave that to you guys to research. And again, you'll see another bargain price book there. <laughs> but this was, uh, this one is from, yeah, Time Magazine. And then, as you can see, the, the subtitle here, you know, the inside story of how America won the war against Iraq. Dot, dot, dot. This is George W. Bush standing on the aircraft carrier. This is graphic, which I guess it should be. You know, it's what happens in conflict. So that gives you like a breakdown of the map. Point down the statue of Saddam Hussein. What's well, an interesting story, you know, since we're with the Smith Hill Library here in Providence, Rhode Island, is I was visited by a uh, a soldier after the war and he was a kid that had been one of our regulars at the Smithville Library and he came back after the war and you know obviously thank thankfully survived the war and he told us that he was there when they pulled that statue down 
and told us a lot about what happened that day when that came down, which is really fascinating to hear that from someone, you know, who was there. So this is an interesting, you know, from Time Magazine. So there's this one. And then there was there's Thunder Run, which is another, I guess it's a Concord, yeah, it's a Concord publication book. So they were around in, still in 2003. So this is the drive into Baghdad of the United States, uh, 3rd Infantry Division. And again, in the typical style of one of these Concord books with the photo spreads. Showing lots of different vehicles. So that's you know, this one. That's Thunder Run, as they called it. I think it was actually on this this drive they made into Baghdad, and then they have the uh, different profiles of the vehicles you can look at. Now, this particular drive that was, uh, let's see if it's in here. There was a, um, a probe that the U.S. Army sent into the heart of Baghdad that was filmed, it was caught live on, I think, CNN or one of the cable news channels. And I remember being at a restaurant having my lunch from work. And it was just on, you know, breaking news, and it showed them driving live, driving right in, and the fighting. It was just bizarre to, to watch that, you know, during lunch at a restaurant. And you're watching an army going into battle right there on television. It was very, very odd. I mean, you know, I'm old enough. I was a kid during Vietnam, and I remember, you know, the nightly news, you'd see stuff like that, too, in Vietnam. It was just kind of hard to, as a kid to comprehend what was happening. Anyway. Hopefully there won't be any more conflicts that we have to watch on television. That would be nice. Um, and then you had things like this that came out. The date on that is, but I'm believing this is the Operation Enduring Freedom. So this would be yeah, this has to do with 9/11. Yeah, I'm going after Osama bin Laden. So this was early on during that period. Looking at that, so there are publications like this that came out as well, and I think I'll finish it up with this one: the War in Iraq. This is from Life. The other one we saw was from Time Magazine. So this is Life that was doing this one. Introduction by Walter Cronkite, which is of interest. And again, you're going to see the, <laughs> the bargain. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I'm frugal, right? Uh, so this gives a history. Yeah, this starts from the early days. Oh, we're acting like the 1950s. The rise of Saddam Hussein. Some of the political... Climate in Iraq. And, uh, and some of the other factors in it. Yeah, this implication here that life is going to be good. 
took a little longer than I think anybody thought. Anyway, I'll leave the politics out of this. Um, This has some interesting and heartbreaking photos in there, which I won't get into all of that. But good, you know, photojournalists that were there. They've got this one and the other book from Time Magazine do show some interesting and somewhat disturbing photos from the conflict. Anyway, so there's a quick run through of some of the publications that came out covering uh, the two wars in the Persian Gulf against Iraq. So, and there's probably many, many more than that, but that's just a quick overview and some of the stuff that I have sitting here at my personal library. Uh, anyway, so we'll see you guys soon. We'll be talking about other topics and other things and other projects, and uh, we'll see you. Bye now.